The Unity Smart Scopes have started to appear now in Ubuntu 13.10, so let's take a look at what they have to offer. Well first off, if you're searching for a locally installed application, it's much quicker to search now than the last couple of releases of Ubuntu. So that kind of takes away the annoyance of it somewhat if you're just searching for a file or application. But now let's take a look what it has to offer here. So if I just do a search for nearest city to me, Swindon. Let's see what appears. Well, let's just maximize the dash here. Now it is a little bit slow on responsiveness, and part of that is because I'm in the virtual box. Well, you can see all the different results we have here. So we've got some information. Right clicking on the results just brings up these thumbnails, and yeah, that's a really helpful result there. <laughs> Swindon is a large town in Wiltshire. Really? You can bring up the weather. I'll come back to weather a bit more at the moment because it doesn't seem to work particularly well for Swindon. Let's see what else we have. So we've got music, uh, shopping results, code results, references, graphics. Oh, welcome to Swindon. All right. Very nice welcome indeed. You get an idea of the number of scopes we have now in Ubuntu, and there's going to be a whole lot more added. They're talking about up to 100 scopes. They can search in specific scopes. So if I was after the weather, so you put in the scope name, colon, and then what you're after. So I'm looking at weather Auckland. So right click on them. Ah, we have pictures on this one. That's what I was playing around with earlier. And different pictures depending what the weather is. That's pretty cool. I like that. So what does it do if we open weather map? Well, yeah, open weather map the website, not open the weather map. Yeah, yeah, thanks. So it takes you straight to the website. Another one, deviant art, colon, hmm, let's take fractal. No, have I spelt it wrong? I, ah, yes, I have. My mistake. It's very specific on the spelling. <laughs> it doesn't sort of suggest if you're wrong. Anyway, there it is, deviant art fractals. Let's just click on one of these and see what it brings up. Oh, by the way, the behaviour on the left and right clicking and double clicking has changed by default. But I was playing around in Deconf Editor and have brought back the single left click option and single right click options. Put a note of that in the description below, because I found that quite handy to go back to the old default behaviour. And finally, the music preview scope. Not only does it play it, you can see the little progress bar on the right hand side. That's pretty cool. Bit of an unreliable feature as I just found on that one, it took me a few attempts to do that. However, this is all looking good, perhaps a little bit slow still, um, but let's see how it goes. So thanks for watching, see you later.